Well, on this week's episode, a little screen printing, a little embroidery, maybe some signage, but my daughter teaches me a lesson, and also the Porta John from Hell. bit of embroidery the birthed blaze softball team here is your little bit of screen printing this jacket was printed 40 years ago now there's a story behind this jacket and we will tell you this story on the next episode here's a little bit of your signage green gate commercial condominiums yeah, that's a big sign that we did now my wife and daughter want to go on a ski slash snowmobile trip and I really don't want to go. I'm getting older now, it's cold, I don't want to be in the mountains and my daughter who is a very competitive person says dad I want to go snowmobiling with you. Let's rent a snowmobile and we'll go together and I kept saying no 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 and finally she said the one statement that will make a redneck guy like me do anything. She said, what are you, chicken? So when she called me a chicken for not wanting to snowmobile, challenge accepted. So I rent two snowmobiles, one for her and her fiance, a two-seater, and I rent a little hot rod for me because, well, why would I make it fair? My daughter's a girly girl, but she is a spitfire. So we take off with these snowmobiles and I have the lead and I taught her a little bit how to ride. She's never ridden a snowmobile before, but I have. I put in thousands of miles and I used to race them. So everything's going fine. They're keeping up and they're leaning into the turns like I showed them and everything. And pretty soon they go around me and I think this can't be happening. She's never ridden one before. So I take it up a notch and I pass them and I lead them some more. And then pretty soon they go around me and I'm trying to keep up with them and I'm doing everything I can, everything I've learned in snowmobiling, I can't keep up with them. Well, they must have slipped a time or two and I caught up to them and I thought, okay, I'm not gonna let this happen. So we get into a meadow and there's a huge jump and I'm thinking, you may be good, but let's see you fly one of these things. So I hit this jump, fly forever and I'm thinking, Okay, now I've showed them how it's done, and there's no way they can do this. And as I do a perfect landing, I look off to my right shoulder, and here comes my daughter flying past me in the air with her fiancé on the back. All I could think of is, how did they do this? So, she lands it perfectly, turns around, looks at me, and says, how did I do, Dad? And I said, eh, but I'm thinking, the teacher has become the student. Well, now after taking a total spanking from my daughter and her fiancé, there was only one thing left for me to do. Find a restroom. Now, my wife was enjoying the ski resort. They have the lodge. They have great restrooms. But when you're snowmobiling, they have porta johns located on the map, and they are clear out there somewhere. So you have to find those. And that's when the fun started to begin. So I pull up to the world's smallest portage on with my snowmobile. I think it's made for a smurf. So I open the door and I look inside and it looks smaller on the inside than it did on the outside. So I go ahead and start taking my gear off. If you have snowmobiled or skied, you know you wear a lot of gear. So I'm trying to get it off. My elbows are hitting everything. Bada boom, bada bang. The thing is rocking like a ship on 30 foot seas. Now I finally get my gear off and I go to lift the lid on the portage on and it's full. Now I'm committed. So I have to do the hover maneuver, which means that my head and my knees are placed hard against the door. Now if that latch pops, I'm doing a planking maneuver out of the portage on face first in the snow with my pants down. So I keep watching the lock to make sure it doesn't pop. And anyway, I finish up and I go ahead and start putting my gear back on. And I'm trying not to lose my phone in the urinal, which is about the size of a coffee cup. And that 
Portage on is rocking back and forth. I, for me, just trying to put my gear on. So I'm thinking, hey, everything's cool. I can make it. Nobody's going to see this. And as soon as I get my gear on and open the door, lo and behold, outside is a line of six people with a look of horror on their face. And they looked like I needed an ambulance. And one dude even said, hey, are you okay? And I said, well, I'm fine, but you ought to see that portage on. Well, now comes the hard part of the video. It's the end, but I enjoyed having you watch us and I enjoyed you being around. So give us a like, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs all around. Subscribe, that doesn't matter. I just hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.